Welcome back to Science Sundays. Today's experiment, see what I did there? It's all about candy canes. Let's join our friend Michelle Roy, the science coordinator at the Kern County Superintendent of Schools for a lesson in testing the scientific method. As she dissolves candy canes in different liquids, try and guess which one you think will be the most effective. Good morning, young scientists. Um, I'm Michelle Roy. I'm the science coordinator at Kern County Superintendent of Schools, and I love doing science experiments with kids, uh, and um, this, and especially doing science for kids in my kitchen um, during this awesome uh, holiday season. Uh, I thought it would be fitting for us to do um, a holiday-themed uh, science experiment. And who doesn't love candy canes? So um, today, for today's experiment, I call it uh, very simply dissolving candy canes. And um, for today, I have some large candy canes. Um, and you might find that it's a little difficult to unwrap these large candy canes without breaking them. If you break them, that's fine. Um, it's just important that you have that larger uh, ratio of candy cane for our experiment today. I also have some smaller candy canes. Whoops, I spilled those on my table. I've got some uh, smaller ones um, for you as well we'll be testing some small candy canes versus large candy canes uh, we also have some oil just vegetable oil any kind of vegetable oil from your kitchen will work um, i also have um, some vinegar uh, and any kind of vinegar white vinegar from your kitchen will work and actually it might be kind of fun too if you have apple cider vinegar or any other kind of vinegar that you have in your kitchen um, would work as well we're just looking for different sorts of liquids i also have in my container already um, some tap water just regular um, tap water to go and i also have back on the stove back here um, some hot water uh, ready to go for our experiment. So once we get rolling here, we will be, um, for today's activity, testing um, small candy canes and large candy canes, just to check out what happens um, when we put them in our different assortment of oil um, and just compare um, either, we have, we'll be comparing things like um, the uh, rate of dissolving or uh, just how the different um, items react in the, uh, the liquids. Um, for you at home, if you want to um, use a timer um, when you drop your candy canes in, um, that would also be great as well. So if you have a cell phone timer or a timer in the microwave like I do back in my kitchen, uh, either way would work. So. That's how our experiment uh, is going to work. So as we um, add our hot water, I do have some warm water here. Um, and you'll notice that I have my trusty dusty pot holder on. This is definitely a part that uh, you'll need a grown up to help you with. I need to pour some hot water into my container uh, about the same amount as the liquid right next door. And then, I'll add some hot water to my contain my larger container in the back. About the same amount as the container next door. Uh, let's see, just a little tad more of my hot water. That looks about the same. So my hot, my other large candy cane ready there. All right. What I'm going to do um, is go ahead and uh, do my experiment. And um, what I'm going to test first is how the small candy cane, um, how it reacts, just do some observations around um, reactions. Not going to get too specific about timing um, the reaction. So my small candy canes in the vegetable oil, in the vinegar, in the room temperature water and my hot water. Ooh, I'm hearing some cracking in the hot water. And um, see how it goes. Let that sit for a minute. Should be starting to see some reactions soon. What are you noticing? I'm starting to see some 
bubbling in hot water. Move that a little closer to the camera. It stopped bubbling for a second, but you can already start to see uh, some of the red color, the dye in the hot water coming off the small candy cane. Ooh, I'm starting to see something going on. What are you observing? There it might be as you're um, watching this play out. Um, it'd be great to uh, pull out your uh, handy dandy science notebook and start making some notes about observations. What are you seeing going on um, in the vinegar? Um, not seeing, starting to maybe barely see some paint coming off my candy cane. And my oil. I am not observing a whole lot going on there. So I'm going to let those uh, sit for a bit. And while my small containers with candy canes in them are um, continuing to dissolve, I'll go ahead and take my larger candy cane. It's probably hard to tell. See the difference? My little small baby candy cane. I'm going to take my large candy cane, put it in my oil in the back. I've got another big candy cane that's not broken. And my vinegar, and in my room temperature water into my hot water and um, as a scientist I'm going to be um, making comparisons between uh, lesser amounts of liquid versus uh, larger amounts of liquid. Uh, I could, I'm also observing the difference in how the candy canes dissolve in our different liquids and um, I could also be uh, keeping track of time too um, to see just exactly how long it takes um, each of our candy canes um, to dissolve. And you might even consider um, leaving the uh, containers out all day long and uh, coming back and observing them periodically throughout the day. Um, I do have to say uh, that prior to uh, putting my uh, candy canes into these different liquids, I was thinking about um, some predictions around uh, what I thought um, might happen uh, with our candy canes in the liquid. And you know, young scientists, I am surprised. Um, because what I was thinking is that the vinegar, because uh, I've noticed um, that vinegar seems to be a, kind of a stinky, strong liquid. And I, I was predicting um, that the candy cane would dissolve quite quickly in the vinegar. And you know, I'm just barely starting to see some of the red start to come off of um, my candy cane. Um, it's the hot water where I'm really seeing a difference uh, in the um, dissolving of the candy cane. And actually, I can get it even closer. Um, oops, the candy cane has actually broken in half and there's no color left at all. Uh, with the, uh, oops, with the hot water. Whereas um, my vinegar candy cane, not a whole lot exciting going on there. It looks like in second place in terms of rate of dissolving uh, is the room temperature water. Um, so um, my prediction um, was not correct. Uh, my experiment today proved um, my, initial, my initial prediction was um, not right. And um, as I'm looking at my back row, um, I'm noticing um, that I'm getting the same results that my large hot water container uh, with my large candy cane in it, uh, it's same thing is happening. It's uh, the candy cane is dissolving much faster. You can see that all the color, the red color on the in the hot water is gone in my uh, hot water. Everything else is consistent with what we're seeing uh, going on with the smaller container. So uh, we have lots to learn about science in our kitchen, uh, as well as lots to learn about science uh, around uh, holiday items. So um, I hope you enjoyed doing um, some science with me uh, this morning. I sure had fun doing science with you.